So this morning we're giving you another reason to get outside in Sunnyside and enjoy some of that sun. Here with us this morning, Beth White from the Houston Parks Board to talk about this big investment that they've made in the park and bike trail in the Sunnyside area. Beth, good morning. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. This is huge. This is a, a, a giant project, a long time coming. Can you give the folks who maybe haven't even been to Sunnyside kind of an idea of where this project is and what the plan is? Well, it's a really exciting thing to be here today to talk about the hill at Sims. Um, the project is located along Sims Bio at the intersection of Sims and Scott Street. So it's the southwest corner, if you will. But it's a corner that is 100 acres of a detention site that was created in 2005. And in 2019, uh, we teamed up with Commissioner Ellis at Precinct 1 to do a plan to see what can we do with this detention pond to, to bring more purpose to it and more use than flood detention, which yeah. is hugely important in Houston. Of course. But we have to have multi-purpose infrastructure. So we are finished up with the design. We're in permitting. Um, we'll be bidding out in the fall. But what you will see is this incredible transformation of a beautiful site. It'll have um, the 60-foot high hill, one of the highest peaks in Houston. There'll be a pavilion up top where you can look out and see this panoramic vista of not just downtown, but you see downtown, the medical center, and the Galleria all in the same view. I don't know of any other place in Houston you can do that. Beautiful. So what's the timeline on this? You said that we're bidding this fall, and we're then when will construction start, and how will that yep, work? We're going to bid this fall. Um, construction will start soon after, and it'll take us a little more than a year to finish it up. So. That seems pretty quick. Yeah, it is pretty quick. Um, we, we put a lot of effort into the design process. Yeah. Uh, the community was really engaged. The Nature Heritage Society, who loves this site, who care about the birds and the wildlife, it really is a nature yeah. park. Um, participated, we had over 700 residents participate in 20 some meetings to tell us what they wanted to see there, how they wanted to use the site. Well, that's really important to, to bring up because it's the folks that live nearby that really matter most. They're the ones that are going to get the most use out of this, presumably, right? Oh, and you are exactly right. Yeah. I mean, this park is for the community, yeah. but the added benefit is it connects to bio greenways. So it will, it will become a destination. It is so beautiful. And and there's going to be a spectacular bridge that the county is building to connect the park over to the other side of Sims to mm -hmm. 20 miles of trail along Sims Bio. You can go visit the Botanic Garden. You can, you know, go to the sport park. There's so many ways that you can get to know the city by coming to Hill at Sims and making that connection. And how important are the partnerships that make this happen? Because obviously it's, there's Harris County involved, but there's a lot of private donors and, and private groups that get involved. And this is the case, uh, not just with the Hill at Sims, but a lot of our parks. Talk about that partnership and that need for the people to be involved. You have just put your finger on what the superpower of Houston is, is public-private partnership. It is the collaborative spirit. It's, as you said, Harris County, you know, leading the effort, Commissioner Ellis, who was one of the architects of Bio Greenway. So we've partnered with him since 2012 mm. when the bond passed. Um, we also have Harris County Flood Control District, and they are committed to dealing with flood mitigation, but they want to make sure these detention pond areas are amenities to the neighborhood. So they are a very close partner. We have multiple city departments that we work with, and the Brown Foundation um, was incredible. They donated $7.5 million to this park to match what the county was putting in, which is 18.8 to be exact. Yeah. And then um, Congressman Al Green, as State Senator Alma Allen, they put in two million collectively. So it really does take everyone pulling together. But the important thing is, is we have to use our land wisely. Mm -hmm. you know, parks do more than just provide recreation. They clean our air, they clean our water, they provide areas for really community building. Yeah. So this partnership is really important, but it has to be led by the community and the yeah. people who live there. I'll tell you, looking at the renderings, and it, it just looks magnificent. And in my mind, I'm thinking, what well, building parks isn't what it used to be. I mean, you think of the old days, it's like, oh, we're just going to put a playground in here. Mm -hmm. We are so far from that. Yeah. Uh, public spaces, uh, nature, really, it's, it's a little bit of everything. And I think that if there was any silver lining to COVID, people recognized how important parks were. They were one of the safest, only safe places that you could go to stay healthy. 
because the, the mental health, the economic health, the vitality of our city really depend on that public space. It's yeah. the, the last tr true democratic space in America where people come together from all walks of life. It doesn't matter your political yeah. stripe, but it's, it's where you become neighbors. It's where you learn about the city. And it, it's really such exciting work to see what's happening in Houston. We have great parks and, and uh, so many new ones too. A lot of places for folks. I'll never forget when, when I first moved here almost 20 years ago, my mother came to town and she went, it's so green. This place is so green and it's just gorgeous. Beth White, Houston Parks Board, thanks for coming in. Best of luck with this project. We hope Thank it really you. works out for you. We'd love to have you back when it's done. Absolutely. Okay. And we'll get you out there during the process. Please, yes. See you soon. Thank you, Beth.